see the SWAC in Jackson State is being sued. Of course, it was Southern Heritage Classic. As we know, Jackson State after 2022, they're no longer participating in that game. Jackson State is like, look, we don't make no money off that game. Now, I don't know how true that is. Because I'm reading that they get $350,000 to participate in that game. Both teams get $350,000 apiece. Now, Deion Sanders is saying, we don't make a lot of money. <clears throat> so why play in the game? You also said that Jackson State, now they're handling their business correctly. Their business correctly. He said, why participate in the game and you're not making any money? Now, contractually, Jackson State, supposed to play in the game 23 and 24. So they getting sued for breach of contract. I'm going to say it again. I don't know if Jackson State is making money at all off this game. They're like, we're making penis off that game. If they pulled out the game, it's obvious they're not making that much money. Just signed a contract for 2023 and 2024. So this is going to be interesting. See how this plays out. But they're saying that the sweat influenced Jackson State to pull out the game. Smoke. Yeah, they um, influenced Jackson State to pull out the game. Like, Jackson State don't have a mind of their own. Now, the group that's suing them is their management corporation. They filed a lawsuit. They said when Jackson State was broke, struggling financially, we floated them some money. Over $6 million over the years. When they wasn't doing well financially. We looked out for Jackson State. And now they're going to do this to us because now they flush with cash. That's what they really say. So the Summit, Summit Management Corporation, they're like, yeah, they paid now. They popular again. They trending. They making all this money so they don't need us anymore. But nah, so they filed a lawsuit against Jackson State for $1.8 million. And they sued the SWAT for $5.4 million. They want an injunction. They want to force Jackson State to play the 2023 game and the 2024 game. I'm all for a contract being um, solid if it favors all parties. Jackson State is like it doesn't favor all parties. It's not enough money. We're not making no money. So why should we keep playing this game? So maybe they could do something with the contract, fix the contract, make it more profitable for the schools that's involved. I'm all for stick into a contract unless it's an NFL contract those contracts is hard but promise that we ain't making no money so we out so let's see where this let's see where this goes <laughs>